Derby have found themselves in an excellent position heading into their final seven games of this League One campaign. But there are some teams around them who could cause them problems. But shall we take a look at the run-ins for each team? You've got Portsmouth who have seven games left to play. You've got Bolton Wanderers who have eight games left to play. I believe Barnsley also have eight games left to play. And the same with Peterborough. Although one of those might be seven. And for me... We are in a really, really good position. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think Derby can finish the job? Has Paul Warren and this Derby County squad got what it takes? Let's firstly get into Portsmouth. Let's take a look at their fixtures and how they could end the season. So with seven left to play, John Massinho currently finds himself, I think it's five points clear of Derby County. And these are the seven fixtures he has left to play. They play Wickham Wanderers away. They are in 12th position. They face us at their home ground and we are in second. Face Shrewsbury Town at home in 17th. They still have to face Bolton and Barnsley away from home and at home. And then Wigan and Lincoln. Now, for me, this is not an easy run in. In their final four games, they face, well, in their final four games, everybody is in the top half of the league. Now, Wigan Athletic, without their points deduction, would obviously be a little bit higher. But what can you say about that running? Now, uh, Derby are the only team to play this upcoming weekend. They face Northampton. I'll have my preview out for that on Thursday, so make sure you stick around to the channel for that. But these games aren't easy. Wickham Wanderers aren't an easy side to beat. Derby have shown that. They drew with them at home. And obviously, Derby... At the end of the day, both teams might just need a draw out of that game. And I'm not saying that both teams are going to play for a draw because I don't think either side will do that. But a draw could be really good for both sides. And then you look at the home fixture against Shrewsbury Town. That's one which they should be looking at getting all three. Now, obviously, they're going to be looking at getting three points from all of them. But this isn't an easy run-in. It really isn't. It is a very difficult run-in. You look at Lincoln City on the final day. They are absolutely flying at the minute. I believe they're something like 12 games unbeaten. And they've come from nowhere. And they're now two points outside of the playoffs. That final game could mean absolutely everything for them. It could put them in sixth place. It could. So that's something that you've got to look out for. Bottom Wanderers obviously still battling for automatic promotion. Although, yes, at the moment they are four points down. Barnsley too. They're seven points away. Now, it's a massive ask, in my opinion, for Barnsley to get back into the fight. But it's only two games dropped from Derby. And Bolton could be ahead of them. And Barnsley are in a point, within a point. So, it's a very, very difficult run-in for Portsmouth, in my opinion. There's teams there that have things to play for. Like, we we at Derby have the, the, the title to play for. Bolton have the opportunity at automatic promotion. Same with Barnsley. And even uh, if Bolton and Barnsley are sort of out of the running for automatic by that point, which is a possibility, which I'll get into when I get onto Derby's fixtures, then obviously, if they're out of the running, they still they want to finish as high as possible. Now, for me, I wouldn't want to finish third. If if you've got Lincoln City to play, I would not want to finish third because Lincoln are in absolutely astonishing form at the moment. And they've got seven games left to play. Now let's take a look at Derby's fixtures then. Now, we've got Northampton this weekend. It is the only game in the top five played this weekend. So we give ourselves an opportunity to go seven points clear of Bolton and ten points of Barnsley. I believe it's I think believe it would be eight to Peterborough. And for me, if we win that game, those teams have to essentially win three games and we have to lose three out of six so for me I think a win at Northampton puts us in a really good position and then all we need to do for, for me it's four wins I don't if I'm completely honest I don't even think it's four wins I think three wins and a draw probably gets us up in my opinion and you look at some of the games we've got. We've got 14th place. We've got 20th place, Cambridge United. We've got Carlisle in 24th on the final day of the season. Obviously, you've got that game against Pompey and Blackpool. Like, that Pompey game 
Like, realistically, if we beat Northampton, I believe when we get to that Pompey game, if we beat Northampton, uh, draw or something against Blackpool, <clears throat> we could be within a couple of points of Portsmouth in that game, and that could put us top of the league. Now, Wickham Wanderers, at that point in time, that will be... I believe it will be a game in hand for us because they play in the final of the EFL Trophy against Peterborough. Now, we play them after the trophy, so it could be a case of their season is essentially done then. So, that's another game. Like, I think we have a really good opportunity here, not just to get promoted, but to win the league. I know we're currently five points away from Portsmouth, but by beating Portsmouth, we can make that too. And then... Two points is easier to close up than four, seven, ten to the likes of Bolton and Peterborough and Barnsley have to close up to us if we beat Northampton. So this is a massive, massive period for Derby. This run-in is incredible. And I think we have the best seat in the house. I do think that, especially with those final two games being 20th place Cambridge and 24th place Carlisle. Now, Cambridge could be safe by the time, or they could have been relegated. Carlisle are pretty much gone. <coughs> Carlisle are pretty much gone already. So, unless they have a massive turnaround, they're going to have nothing to play for, apart from pride. So, I think this is the best running. You let me know your thoughts down in the comments on the run-ins. Who do you think has got the best one? Now, Bolton Wanderers do have... A good run in. But they also face, in my opinion, four difficult sides in there. Stevenage, although they've dropped off a little bit recently, are still a difficult side to play. They play an unattractive brand of football. Steve Evans pl essentially plays percentage football. Get it in the box. Just get it in the box. Get it up the pitch. Get it in the box. Win your tackles. Play the dark arts. Get it in the box. And that could be a problem for Bolton. Reading, another team, now they played us the other week. I thought we were really good against them. But again, they have quality. They have a lot of quality. And as much as they didn't necessarily trouble us, I think they're one of those teams who could cause problems in this running, especially for Bolton. Bolton are going to be on a low heading into the Stevenage game. They're going to, I don't think they play this weekend because of internationals. So they're going to have had a big break and they're going to fester on that defeat to Derby County. And that could play large in that Stevenage game, especially if Derby go and win at Northampton Town. I believe Reading is going to be a very difficult game for them. They've got to play Portsmouth away. And now we play Portsmouth away and I don't think it's going to be easy for anybody. Portsmouth are a very good side. But there's still a chance that Portsmouth, although very unlikely, because I think they're something like nine points clear of Bolton, there's still a chance they could fall out because they play a lot of the top sides. Us and Bolton, if we both win the game, that's, what, six points taken out of their advantage. But then obviously Bolton have to have to face Shrewsbury Town, Port Vale and Peterborough United. And that Peterborough United game could be massive on the final day of the season. Because for me, Derby face Carlisle, bottom of the league. Bolton have to travel to Peterborough. It's very, very, very difficult. Because Peterborough are a really good side. In my opinion, Peterborough are probably the best side I've seen at Pride Park this season. And... That's saying something. I thought they were unbelievable. Now they did hit a bit of stumble of form after that game, but they seem to be finding their feet again. And I think that that Peterborough game is going to be absolutely massive on the final day of the season. Although I do think the automatic promotion places will be sewn up by that point, in my opinion. Let's now get on to Peterborough United. What a run-in they have. They face... Four of the sides battling relegation. They face Oxford and Bolton. And they also face Leighton Orient and Bristol Rovers. But have they left themselves too much to do? If Derby County win at Northampton, it makes the gap to Peterborough 10 points. Now, 
if they win their four games against the bottom sides, then obviously that's 12 points. But they need Derby to lose four games to get to that point ahead of them. And that's where I think it gets difficult. Now, can I see Derby County losing four games out of seven? I can see it. Do I think it's going to happen? No, I don't. In my personal opinion, I don't. And this is why I think Peterborough have left themselves too much to do. But I do think that they're going to have a role to play. That game against Bolton, as I mentioned previously, is going to... It's going to have impacts on the playoffs, but I think automatics are going to have already been sewn up at that point. The game against Oxford, that offers Lincoln City a chance to jump into the playoffs. But if you're Peterborough, do you want to finish P3 and play uh, an inform Lincoln City? Now, obviously, Oxford may still sneak in, may still stay sixth. Obviously, they have had a big drop-off since the turn of the year, but that is a possibility. And this this is what these teams in the playoffs, especially your Peterboroughs, your Barnsleys, um, they're going to be thinking, do we want to finish third or do we want to play each other? Because you you look at Lincoln City and i tell you something, no one would want to play them at this point in time. And for me, I think Peterborough have the easiest run in. Like you've just got to look at the league positions. They play all of those relegation sides at home. They have the tough games away. So, for me, like, I'd put money on Peterborough finishing third, but I also think that they may give up the Bolton game to finish fourth. Now, that's probably stupid of me to think, but that is just my opinion. Shall we now take a look at Barnsley? Now, obviously, Peterborough and Barnsley both have a game in hand on Derby. So, as you can see, again, their running is quite favourable. They play Cambridge at home, Burton away. Charlton away, Reading at home, Northampton Town on the final day at home. It's not exactly a difficult run-in. But Cambridge are fighting for their life. Burton are fighting for their life. Nathan Jones has got Charlton playing some really good football. And he's got them winning games. Now, I believe they drew at the weekend with Fleetwood. But they've been playing well. Stevenage... As I mentioned previously, they aren't going to be an easy side because they are still battling for the playoffs. Reading, I've said it previously, difficult side to play. Now, I think they're one of our bogey sides, but they're still a struggle. Portsmouth, massive game. Absolutely massive game for Barnsley. And you've got to look. Every team, apart from, I think it's Peterborough, has to play Portsmouth. Look, Bolton, Portsmouth. Derby, Portsmouth, if we just go back through here and you just look at the uh, the fixtures, you look at Barnsley here, they have got to play Portsmouth. So if Derby win, Barnsley win, Bolton win, Derby could end up top of the league. That Blackpool game, I, I personally think if Derby beat Northampton, I think it's done deal. And here's why. I think it's a done deal because... You put that seven-point gap and a team that, yes, they have games in hand, but they don't play them games in hand until there's like two games left to go. At which point, we will then have a game in hand because of the Wickham game. And I think it, it's dangerous. Seven points me ultimately means they can't really drop points. There's 21 points to play for for Derby. 24 for Bolton, not Bolton, 24 for Peterborough and Barnsley. 21 points for Bolton to play. If Derby get three, that means 18 points to play for. And they would have to drop eight points for Bolton to finish ahead out of 18. And Derby this season are currently on two points per game, which would suggest they'll pick up 14 in the next seven games. Now, obviously, it could be more, it could be less. But that would have them drop in seven points maximum. And obviously, Bolton, they're on a lower points per game. Same with Peterborough and Barnsley. So, obviously, it has them drop in similar numbers of points. Keeps us in the same position. So, for me, 
if Derby beat Northampton, I think, don't celebrate, but I think it sets a statement. Because the only way then those teams can catch us up is losing three games in a row where they all win. And this is the thing. There's so many variables. Derby have to lose. And Bolton would have to win. Barnsley would have to win. Peterborough would have to win. And that's where I think pressure comes into play. It then becomes must win for them, must not lose for us. If we picked up in our final seven games, seven points. Now, I think we'll pick up more than that. The other teams would still have to pick up, like Bolton, if we pick up seven points, Bolton would have to get 12 to beat us out of 21. Not impossible, but we're not going to draw every game. Peterborough would have to win every game. They would. Barnsley would have to win every game, essentially. Like, And that is the situation. So if we win against Northampton, not an easy game by any means, but I think that is us practically up, but I won't be celebrating. I won't be getting excited until mathematically it is job done because that is where you have your problems. Now, I'm going to close this video out here, but let me know in the comments your thoughts. Do you think Derby are going to get promoted? Do you think they can do it? Do you think they can close out this season? I think they can. Hit the subscribe button while you're down there and I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula 1 and football weekend.